Previously on Jimmy Barnes. Holy crap. I always get it wrong. From The Deacon. On the Saviour's Day. I can't see a thing here. McDonald's Fry Kids. Mr. Wayne Trevor Deacon. Feel free to send it to me. Beggar, 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 beggar. Well, acts of kindness from Wayne Deacon are like buses. None for a little while, and then you get two almost at once. Well, maybe not at once, but um, it's only been about a week or so since you will have seen Wayne Deacon send me an AOK. -okay. It was the McDonald's Fry Kids uh, Red and Green 2-pack uh, Pop Culture slash Funko Shop exclusive. I'd already got that pop or those pops, plural. I uh, passed them on to my eldest daughter who has got a few of the McDonald's pops in her collection now. And Wayne sent me another box. Fairly heavy one as well. Now, I know this is from Wayne. It's got the familiar green and white parcel tape on it. And um, I'm starting to recognize his handwriting as well. But the parcel tape is a giveaway. Now then, <sighs> This, I think I know what this is. I'm not going to say. Every time I say I get it wrong. Like I say, it does feel a little heavier, so I'm wondering if he's put, I don't know. It's close to Christmas, in it? So he might put some chocolates or sweets or something inside. But uh, we'll get this open and see what's the Lord of Loftus Road. Such a lovely fella. Obviously, I've left a link for Wayne Deacon's YouTube channel at the top of the description text box. So please go and show him some love and some support. Give him a sub watches hilarious videos where him and his son Logan seem to almost come to blows on a daily basis now and uh, while you're down in the description text box once you've subscribed to Wayne Deacon come back and have a look at all my referral links for Funko products and there's my Patreon page Wayne is a patron of mine and I appreciate him massively for that and I've got a Facebook group link down there as well right too busy yapping here to properly open this box but i think we're in now we have got a note on top good old wayne oh but this one is sealed in an envelope could this be my first christmas card of the year let me just read what it says on uh, the front <laughs> okay hey <laughs> jimmy wanker sod jimbo barney shit fucker twat office wanker friend buddy mate <laughs> oh, only you, Wayne. Only you. <laughs> oh, dear. I do apologise for any offensive language that uh, you may have heard momentarily. There we are. Ho, ho, ho. Or if you turn it upside down, it says O, 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 as in O, O, O. It's magic. There you go. Bit of an impromptu serenade there. To Jimmy and family, Merry Christmas. Enjoy the gift, you cheeky sod. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's what I kind of asked for in the last video. I did feel a little bit cheeky doing that. Love, Wayne and family. Oh, thank you, Wayne. This is literally my first Christmas card this year. I'm not a big one for sending Christmas cards out. Um, I do. I send to one or two people who I know I don't get to see from, you know, one year to the next, really. But um, I think when you're in a YouTube community... You can just wish each other happy Christmas in chat groups and in the comments of videos and stuff. But Wayne, you know, he'll send things out to people regularly and uh, he likes to go the extra mile with Christmas cards and things like that. So I really appreciate that. That's just the kind of guy we're talking about. Wayne Deacon, just a really, really special person <laughs> in more ways than one. Right, still haven't got into this box properly yet. It does feel quite heavy. I keep saying that. I'm certain I know what this is. I can't see it really yet because there's a lot of bubble wrap surrounding it. Let me just uh, double check. Yeah, yeah, there is something in here. Ooh. Oh, oh, Wayne. Oh, you've got a good memory. I think I said at some point it might have been in a live stream or... Actually, no, you probably just remembered when I did a taste test for some of these uh, way back. That was probably almost a year ago. Um, he sent me a bag of cola cubes, one of my favourite sweets, probably my very favourite actually. 
with pineapple chunks a close second so that's why this box was so heavy because he sent me a bag of cola cubes lovely stuff there is a logo on it but i can't see it yeah i've just had a glance at the pop it is what i asked him for so wayne hadn't passed this on elsewhere he probably wishes that he'd sent me this with the fry kids one save on postage and that was my fault really because he offered it to me pretty much as soon as he got it and i said oh i would take it off you but um i don't really want to collect the whole line but i kind of changed my mind i'm always doing that i don't think i want a pop or a series of pops and then later on usually when there's some sort of freebie or discount involved along the way I'll change my mind. I'm pretty sure this has come in a protector. Thank you for that, Wayne. I will get it out of the protector as well, just so that I can minimize the glare that bounces off the infamous ring of light onto this pop box. So the pop Wayne has very kindly gifted me today is number 127 in the Pop Rocks line, a line that I really, really love collecting. This is from Duran Duran and it's Andy Taylor. So <laughs> there's four more of these I need to get now because I'm not going to be satisfied with just having Andy Taylor. If you're going to get a Duran Duran pop but you maybe only want one, then you're going to get Simon Le Bon really. I've got a friend who doesn't really collect Funko Pops but um, I told her that um, Duran Duran were coming out and she said, oh, let me know when you see Simon Le Bon in stock somewhere because she's had a crush on him for like... 40 years or something like that and uh, she wanted to get Simon Le Bon although she's a fan of the band as for me uh, Duran Duran they're one of those acts that um, on the surface of it I wouldn't say I'm a massive fan I always found their production values and their videos a little bit kind of superficial in the 1980s you know they seem to be kind of Thatcherite really with these five Birmingham playboys on yachts and tropical islands and uh, it all seemed a bit Tory to me but um, the thing is they did some great singles A View to a Kill still one of my very favourite Bond themes of all time Save a Prayer, I uh, love that song, that's more, maybe call it a ballad, it's sort of leaning towards ballad, albeit a kind of new wave electro one. Uh, the Reflex, uh, that was a number one, is there something I should know? Good single, uh, Hungry Like the World, I mean you know Duran Duran, Ordinary World, which was more in the early 90s. And still going now, the lineup's changed a few times, but I think there's still at least one or two of the many tailors in there and Simon Le Bon on lead vocals, of course, but uh, Andy Taylor. So we'll have a quick look at the back, and here we can see all the other ones that you can get, and it's like the classic Duran Duran lineup of the early to mid-80s with Simon Le Bon. I've got Andy Taylor here. Um, I can't remember what instrument he plays, because often pop rocks figures, they'll be holding guitars or drumsticks, or in the case of Pet Shop Boys' Chris Lowe, they'll be holding a keytar but um, all of these just standing around posing. Roger Taylor is there, not to be confused with Queen's drummer, Roger Taylor, but I'm not sure if he's the Duran Duran drummer. Um, it'd be a bit of a coincidence if they're both Rogers and both drummers. I can't remember, if I was more of a massive Duran fan, then uh, I'd know Nick Rhodes there, I think he may be guitarist or bassist possibly, and uh, yet another Taylor, John Taylor, completes the lineup. But I've got Andy Taylor here, and yes, I do want the other four now, because I'm not going to be satisfied with just this. Yeah, Wayne, I'm glad I changed my mind and asked you to send me this, because you did offer it me, and I did feel a bit cheeky, kind of turning you down, and then in a video saying, oh, you know, that pop I didn't want off you, well, I want it now. <laughs> just goes to show the generosity of the man Deacon, really, doesn't it? So this is Andy Taylor, he's got this really bright blonde hair. It's got that really nice texture for hair that you've come to expect from Funko Pops. I can kind of vaguely picture Andy Taylor in my head, you know, from sort of music videos and magazine photos and things like that. And they have got him spot on, really, with how he looks here. He's got a kind of cream suit on. It might be sort of like a safari suit type thing, really. I think he's got like a neckerchief there that to my eyes is looking navy blue with white dots. See his belt buckle, black boots. Probably a pose from a music video. Some of the most famous music videos of the 1980s were the ones with Duran Duran. I think many of them were directed by Godly and Cream. 
the duo who were originally in 10cc and then they branched out into firstly a spin-off musical act of their own but then probably even more successfully they just directed loads of really iconic promo videos for lots of different acts and i'm sure they worked with duran duran multiple times rio is certainly a music video that springs to mind that was a godly and cream direction and that's andy taylor back in his box and protector thank you again so much wayne for this early christmas present or another act of kindness just mere days really after sending me the mcdonald's fry kids although i think you knew that i probably had those in my collection and that i was going to pass them on to emily and uh, the fact i was able to do that the day before her birthday as well was a bonus but um really appreciate it and of course can't forget the lovely surprise <laughs> i love these cola cubes i try not to have too many because well they just basically sugar all day long in it but as a christmas treat they will certainly go down a treat thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed once again another amazing act of kindness from wayne deacon here massive massive well wishes and best wishes to all of the deacon family i want to say special thanks to my patrons and my subscribers I'm going to go now, and now that I've got Andy Taylor of Duran Duran, I need to start hunting around for the other four that I need. I think these Duran Pops are a little bit difficult to find in some places now, but I'll see how I get on. It's a marathon, not a sprint, so uh, if it takes me a while to complete the set of five, then so be it. And I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next Act of Kindness and Funko Pop unboxing. Cheers, everyone. See ya!